Hi, I'm Gareth Spence and welcome to Tech Talk. At this year's Connected Britain, 50G PON is proving a hot topic. From the stage to the stands, everyone is asking when will it arrive and what impact will it have? To provide an overview of what's happening here, I'm joined by Jeremy Chalot from Natomnia and Brisk and Eric Joyce from Adtran. Jeremy, you previously stated that you're going to be the first service provider in the UK to deploy 50G PON services. Are you still on track for that? I hope so. It's uh, no, joke, joke aside, yes, we're, we're on track. Obviously, we have to rely on, uh, on Adtran and uh, chipset manufacturer, but as far as we're concerned, everything is going to head. We're expecting to have uh, 50G PON at least in some shape or form live, hopefully before the end of this year, at the latest early next year. What difference will 50G PON services make to your customers? To my customers, I'm not sure. But in reality, as far as I'm concerned, in order to remain relevant in the UK as an alternate, we have to drive innovation. Because if there is one place where we can fight the incumbent, it's by innovating faster than them. And this is what we've been doing now for more than a decade when uh, the incumbent decided that copper technology will be better than fiber technology, we started doing fiber. Then when they started doing fiber, they started doing g -Pon, we started doing xgs -Pon. Now they finally caught on and decided that xgs -Pon maybe is a good technology. Therefore, I start moving on to the next one, which enables me to provide in general services that will be much better, much faster, and ultimately, makes my company better for the foreseeable future and therefore better for my customers. And how will it help you with future growth? Are there any specifics that you could point to? Uh, in, in terms of future growth, is as bandwidth requirement increasing, especially on the business side, not so much, but, but on the residentials too, actually the, the first customers that we have actually lined up for 50 g are actually residential customers, rather than business customers. But we will expect by having 50 g bond to be able to start launching 10 gigabit symmetric services to residential and, uh, and businesses, which uh, to a certain extent, it's more a question for our customers. How would they use that technology to improve their life, to game better or download things faster? It's up to them. But what we do know is that we never want to constrain them. And that's why we're always in a race to try to provide faster services. Eric, I'd like to bring you into the conversation here. How much real interest is there in 50G PON on, on the show floor? Well, luckily we had a, a short panel not only half, half an hour ago and we managed to pack that room. There were people standing up. So there's definitely interest in 50G PON as a technology. I think in the industry, we're at an interesting point now. We're at an interesting point in the UK industry where there's a lot of consolidation happening. And when consolidation happens, people start planning. And when you start planning, you look at how you're going to build your network for the next 10, 15, maybe even 20 years. And 50 gig pawn is the next step in building a network that's going to last that long. So quite a lot of interest, um, not just here, but industry-wide. For Jeremy to achieve his ambitions of being the first service provider to deploy 50 g pawn services, he needs the technology. How is Adtran's solution developing? So we're working extremely hard at the moment. As Jeremy mentioned, there's always chipset supply issues, but we've, we've built the product or we've uh, designed the product. Um, we, we have the product ready to go, the SDX 6405. It's going to be the newest member of our SDX disaggregated series of OLTs. It'll give us a four port 50 gig pawn capability. We're working on the hardware and software packages at the moment and we hope to have it available to, to Natomni as our first customer in the UK, certainly before the end of the year. We want live service before the end of December. Fantastic. Gentlemen, thanks for joining me today. Thank you.